Hello there, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Aries, this is your energy check-in reading today. And what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to open your reading with an oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a spirit animal card from the spirit of the animals oracle deck and then a bonus card from the wild woman rising i'm also going to pull an angel number for you today as well so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right aries let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like to share Share with you right now. All right, we are getting instant manifestations. Some of you are going to experience instant manifestations in your life. Let me read you the message on this card. So soul and mind working together create a dream in the heart. You have nothing to lose here, Aries. You carry the dream. Your intention is pure, so be ready to receive here, my friends. Let me read this to you one more time. Soul and mind working together create a dream in the heart. You have nothing to lose. You carry the dream. Your intention is pure, so be ready to receive. So look at this. Manifestations are going to start taking formation in your life. This is so exciting for you. Aries, oh my goodness. So as I'm shuffling these cards, I just wanted to share a fun fact with you. Beginning April the 20th, we have 10 days straight in a row of palindrome numbers. These are numbers, if spelt backwards and forwards, are exactly the same. So April the 20th to April the 29th. Now, this only happens once in a year, and I feel it only happens uh, nine years in a row, and then there's a break in between. So very rare occurrence here. I find these to be very fascinating. So these numbers spelt forward and backwards are the same. It's just like a, uh, writing down mom or dad. You can flip them back and forth, right? And they're the same, just like these numbers. So interesting fact here, I just wanted to share it with all of you. Um, I'm planning on lighting candles um, with these dates here, everyone. So look at this, I'm creating a mess, but we've got some cards popping out here for you. So let's just move this deck over here. I'm so sorry, I'm being a little bit sloppy here. So we got two cards, let's go ahead with these. So your first card today is Seven of Pentacles, Aries. So this is a course correction. This is also you taking in inventory, making edits and adjustments in your life. And this is so necessary because in a sense, you are kind of releasing the things that aren't working for you and replacing with them with things that might work for you. But the only way you're going to know is by actually making these changes in your life introspection is also needed and I feel that you're going through spiritual growth right now as well so the seven of pentacles we also have the king of wands so you have the power here you are not here to compete Aries you are here to rule your reality this is what this card is telling you that you have this power it's now time to ground yourself and put that energy where it's needed most in your life and to focus here because focus for you is going to be very powerful so the king of wands now what i also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my reading so whenever you see my cards popping up on screen i want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages so uh, discipline here is coming through this card Three of Cups, community, collaboration, working with others. And I feel there's this combined energy that is going to really uplift your life here. So you're meant to actually connect with people here. Aries, this month of April and May coming up. All right, so, um, or perhaps you're meant to work in your community with the people that are already around you. So um, I'm seeing an expansion here with this. 
three of cups here for you. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you, Aries. So those of you that are watching today, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So let's just move this deck out of the way here. So lots of growth, a lot of expansion. You're going to reach really far in your life here, Aries. This is what I'm getting here. And over the next couple of weeks, I feel some of you are going to be making some edits and adjustments, course corrections in your life right now. I also feel that uh, perhaps you're being asked to be strong right now because you are going through a change. And that's because you have manifested something in your life. And and even to bring this manifestation into your life, sometimes we have to change some of the things that are currently in our life because we need to align to this manifestation. So I feel the work is being done here and it's you that's doing the work, Aries. You're like kind of doing little, little things, making little itty bitty micro changes here even. And this is actually making a big shift happen in your life, which is allowing this manifestation, whatever it is that you wanted to bring into your life, it is coming into your life right now, Aries. So those of you that have lit candles around the solar eclipse, or perhaps you've done some sort of a manifestation ritual, this is now coming in. Even for those of you that have prayed for something to come in, this is coming into your life now. And spirit guides are wanting you to be flexible and adaptable as this change takes place shape. Now, the other thing is I feel there's also something shifting within you. This is something spiritual here. So um, I'm getting that some of you are um, in connection with your higher self in some way here. You're going to have to share with me what this is because they're showing me this link between you and your higher self. So maybe this is through meditation that you're able to connect here Aries but I'm seeing that you're being given information and knowledge to help you move forward so you're starting to see things differently in your life and you know where you need to make changes in your life in order to um, follow that purpose like what they're showing me is somebody that's walking with a straight line and that's your path that you have carved out for yourself. This is your history, this line. But I'm seeing billions of other lines and there's one that's kind of moving asking you to follow that line. That's through your higher self's knowledge or information that is coming in. So I feel there's spiritual growth, but there's also, also you being in alignment with some sort of a dream that is tied to this manifestation here. Very, very interesting. And I feel some of you also are aware that this is what is happening in your life because you are creating it. Like you're like, I know this is happening because this is what I'm trying to do and create in my life. Um, maybe some of you are trying to find your way as well. That's the other thing I'm getting here. So remember everyone, we live in a world of polarity. What I'm speaking to you through these cards today might resonate with you. Maybe you're going with uh, going through something that is the complete opposite or something in between. So again, placing this reading wherever it resonates for you today. Now, the, the other thing I'm finding is Maybe you're confused or you're trying to find your way or figure things out like, you know, maybe I'm supposed to do this or maybe I'm supposed to do that. Um, or you're not sure, like I'm getting some confusion here around this. So this is where spirit guides are really wanting you to look inward to find these answers. Like what is it that you truly want to do with your life here, Aries? What is it that you want to do to create the stability and security that you're seeking? I feel some of you have options right now as well and you want to make higher self choices. That confusion will kind of melt away once you ground your energy and that grounding is going to be so, so important for you, Aries, because right now I feel there's this like fire energy around you you're good with fire, right? Because this is a part of your sign. But I feel there's almost like this fire energy that is um, an energy of passion. Like there's a light kind of shining from you or wants to be shined, like a fire that is lit within you. And there's almost like this need or rush to change things really quickly, to see results really quickly. And it doesn't happen that way. Things need to take time. You need, a, you need to allow things to take shape and take form in the way that they're meant to. So not trying to control something. Um, I feel there's a connection to God here as well for some of you. Like a really strong connection to God. I don't know if any of you have been praying. Um, you're sensing this. I don't know if God has shown up in your dreams here, whatever form of God you believe in here, Aries, I feel this is showing up in your life and you're starting to see the miracles 
taking place in your life. Now we've got the King of Wands energy here. So stability, discipline, um, structure, organization, as you are shifting things, this is going to be so important for you. You're in a really powerful place right now, Aries, because not only do you have the power to make changes in your life, but you have the power to actually think things through and make decisions and choices that are more in alignment with you because the connection that you have to God right now. I, I'm also getting that you are surrounded by a team of angels. So in a sense here, you are a warrior spirit, Aries. There's like something that you're meant to accomplish in this lifetime on earth. And this is much greater than you. So some of you are meant to actually lead in some way here, some shape or form through your own self, self expression, um, through like your communication and your presence. There's something that you're meant to master here, something that you're meant to do here uh, for humanity. And this is on a way bigger level. This might be too much for some of you to hear. And um, what I feel is there's no heaviness around this. Like there's no burden or weight of this on you. It's, it's a light energy. So you're meant to rise up and you're meant to lead here. You're meant to uplift and you're meant to teach Aries. So I don't know how this is going to show up for some of you. Remember, we all live a different life experience. This is going to show up differently for each and every one of us. So I feel that taking action, having focus, putting your energy where your mouth is, is what spirit guides are sharing. This is what I'm getting here. Putting your energy where your mouth is. Um, actions speak louder than words, right? So they're wanting to see your action match your words um, with what it is that you're wanting to actually create. So procrast procrastination, any kind of distractions, you want to be mindful and aware and keep them at bay here, Aries. Um, I feel you're wanting things to happen really quickly. So again, that rush to get things done, um, quickly kind of wanting to make money even, like wanting to build something really quickly to have all of these things coming in all at once. It just doesn't work like that. So they want you to have patience at this time, especially if you're wanting to see results with something. If you're wanting to see income coming in, um, you got to give it time, right? Because you're, you're in alignment with this because the King of Wands is someone that is secure and they're stable. It's taken a lot of time and effort, their energy, they've gone through a lot of challenges to get to this place. You are going to get to this place here, Aries. This is your confirmation today from Spirit. And any kind of distractions or comparisons that you are making with yourself to someone else, they want you to knock that off. They want you to release that energy and start focusing on, on yourself because you are uniquely you. There is nobody else like you in this world, Aries. And that is your superpower. That is your strength that you, and the, the comparison is like just not meant to be there. So focus on yourself, focus on your goals and where it is that you're going in the world. They want you to pick up inspiration as well. So, um, Maybe you are uh, listening to somebody online like Tony Robbins, maybe it's Dan Coe, somebody else like Dan Locke. I really like listening to Dan Locke. Um, he's from Vancouver, BC, where I'm from. So it's really, really um, good advice that he gives online. But if you're finding people online that inspire and motivate you, this is perfect. Um, spirit guides are also wanting you to align yourself with energies or people that are like you like your energy, like like-minded. Um, and sometimes that's hard, but I feel you're in alignment and this is already happening for some of you out there. So you're seeing that you're in alignment with people, which is showing up here is your soul tribe. So connections here are going to be very powerful. Networking, especially if you're in business, is a really good time to network. I feel some of you are going to be invited somewhere, take that invitation and make the most of it. Um, really dive into that energy of joy and excitement with those that are going through um, reaching goals and milestones. I, I feel that you want to kind of dive into that energy and just feel it all around you and experience the energy that everyone else is feeling in that um, event. I feel there's an event coming up for some of you. I'm also getting that you're meant to be, um, some of you will do better being in a group of people. So what I mean by this is when I started doing yoga, I started doing yoga at home by myself. And I found it very difficult to do it on my own at home. I just didn't, wasn't, it's just being at home. It's just so hard. Even working and filming, sometimes it can be hard when you're working from home 
because you're at home and you have all these other things that are going on, right? So I joined a yoga class. I joined oxygen yoga near my home. And oh my gosh, that's made such a huge difference because everyone in the, is in that same energy. So they want you to surround yourself in that energy that you're wanting to pull into your life here. So joining a yoga class, maybe joining a gym, maybe joining a course, doing something where there's people there doing the same thing as you, Aries. Um, taking a course, an online course, um, surrounding yourself with people that uplift your energy and releasing yourself or keeping friends at bay that might be pulling your energy down and becoming aware of this. You're meant to rise up here, Aries. You're not meant to go down. And it's a choice that we have to surround ourselves with the kind of people that we surround ourselves with. So again, who are you choosing to surround your energy with, right? Um, I'm getting something kind of, um, I'm getting a power struggle here coming in. So I don't know what this is about. Maybe this is at work. Uh, maybe this is a boss. There's some changes that are happening in your workspace here. I feel for some of you, these are really good changes that are coming in. And there's almost like this rearranging energy here. So perhaps some of you might have jobs or careers where the business or the company is changing. Maybe the manager has changed or the way that they um, do things in your workspace is changing. Like their policies, their regulations, their rules are changing because of someone else that has taken over. This might not feel comfortable for you, but you have to go through this adjustment period because I feel that things are going to work in your favor here with this and you're going to be uplifted. Communication also, you have to speak your truth here, Aries. Communication for you is going to be very powerful. Those of you that find it very hard to communicate, um, I found it very hard to communicate in my own life years ago. And I started to learn words. Even now, sometimes I have trouble reading. You've seen this on my readings where sometimes I have trouble with words, big words, sophisticated words. So I'm trying to get better at this and understand English a little bit better so I understand more. Remember, knowledge is power. And the more knowledge and understanding you can have around something, the better you're able to communicate it and the better you're able to even understand it. So I feel knowledge is coming through with this, but also um, standing your ground and standing in your truth and speaking up, especially when you're feeling like you're being treated a certain way in a social group in at work as well. Um, that's coming through. But what I'm getting here is overall, everything is going to work out for you. Even if it doesn't feel like it is Aries, I feel it will work out for you. Okay. This is what spirit guides are letting you know. The signs are all around you. I mention this all the time because I see them all the time. Signs around us, synchronicities. And recently I've been getting for a lot of the signs, this connection of the dots. So um, connecting of dots of something that is happening. And I feel that you've been given messages separately in different, different ways, confirming something for you and you're going to put those dots together and you're going to have this breakthrough around something this is definitely coming up for some of you so get ready for that to show up in your life through the connection of the dots that you are going to make here Aries so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a spirit animal card from you for you this is the spirit of the animals oracle deck so those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so we are getting for you Aries swan grace so what a beautiful card i heard ducks this morning as i was sleeping and after the ducks had kind of ducked i heard a lot of rain falling on the ground so that was really interesting this morning to wake up to so we've got some swans here you who glides across the waters of my soul bring me your wisdom and light help me transform into elegance and grace inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty so look at that. There's some beautiful energy around you already here, Aries. And this is your confirmation today through the swan card. So I don't know if any of you have seen a swan in your life. This is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. So look at that. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to pull a bonus card for you as well. This is the Wild Woman Rising Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook today. So we are getting for you today, Aries. Gather your tribe. Look at that. Gather your tribe, everyone. This is in alignment with the Three of Cups today. So you're meant to find your soul tribe, Aries. And look at all of these animals. We've got an owl. We have a fox, a bear. We've got a snake. We've got a moth, antlers, like so many different signs that are around you. And I do feel that 
People from all walks of life are meant to enter your life because there's experiences that you're meant to experience through these people. And perhaps you've already met people throughout your life that have shared a lot of their experiences with you, Aries, which is knowledge is power, right? Knowledge is power, everything that you know here. So the number 38 is on this card. This could be a number of significance for some of you. I'm getting 38 days around the message of this card. Okay, so 38 days. Let's pull the interpretation and read this to you. So Aries, they say your vibe attracts your tribe and nothing brings them to you more swiftly than when you're willing to be clear about who you are and what you want. No more people pleasing to make others happy. If you have to contort and compromise, they're, not, they're just not your people. When we allow and attract versus contort and demand, we gather the lost pieces of ourselves together and wild woman rises. So look at that. It's time to gather your soul tribe. Aries, I love this for you today. All right, so let's pull an angel number as well. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So Aries, we are getting for you today in process. Things are in process, you are in process. Those of you that are seeing the number 10, 10 in your life, this is your confirmation today. I'm getting 10 days, 10 weeks, and 10 months around the message of this card. Perhaps you're even seeing some of these colors in this card somewhere in your life. So time for a change in life. That change is definitely coming in for some of you. Know that you are on the right track. You're exactly where you need to be in this place in your life right now. You're moving in a new direction though. This is what's coming in. And I feel some of you are seeing the omens and the signs around this new direction coming through. So the messages, there's that me messages right here. So there's a soul evolution also taking place here for you. So look at this, a lot of powerful energy around you right now. So this is your reading today, Aries. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.